Hey hi this is Varsha and welcome to the QA world in my automation channel so today's session i have created on one special request that is for like please create a session for practical interview question of expert so nowadays who is preparing for selenium automation interviews for them like what is xpath how to write the xpath and how to handle the xpath interview questions that is very important thing so if you are preparing for selenium automation interviews then you should know the xpath and if you are able to write down the xpath with using different different method different uh, xpath access method different logical method so you definitely clear 50% interview that i'm sure so you have to very well prepared for this in uh, this question and first of all you have to practice to create the xpath with different different website because each website has different html documentation page okay and if you are trying to write the different xpath for different web element and if you are using different different methods then you are definitely able to handle any type of xpath question in the interview okay so uh, and please try once you uh, are uh, writing the xpath in interview don't try to use very simple method like just uh, tag name attribute and value not using this very simple things if you are holding uh, more than 3 year of experience and 2.5 year of experience then please try to use different methods if you are comfortable and when you will get comfortable once you do the practice okay so try to use some access method try to use some contains method in your xpath so that interviewer can get proper understanding like you have very good knowledge to write in the xpath okay so there is no shortcut to giving the proper interview questions to giving the proper solution for that there is only practice 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 once you practice to writing the xpath then you are able to do these things very easily and it will not take more than 3 to 4 hours if you are sitting in a uh, very uh, calm place then uh, if you are trying for 10 to different websites then it will take very few times to uh, to understanding the things yeah so i have prepared few interview questions as well and i am also giving the answer how you can handle this uh, questions in interview so you can crack that interview and uh, let me share my screen so we can start now yeah so i have start sharing my screen and now i opened that uh, uh, notepad screen and we are <clears throat> i have created few uh, interview questions few basically practical interview questions for this xpath uh, so i will explain one by one and i also have uh, created this answers so now you got the proper understanding proper uh, knowledge like how you have to explain this questions in your interview okay <clears throat> yeah so before starting this session i am recommending one thing actually uh, whenever you are giving an interview for selenium automation you are giving interview for any software testing software automation testing then first thing you have to know what is xpath types of xpath and how to handle dynamic xpath because xpath is a very basic pillar of the selenium automation if you know to identify the web element on the html document if you know how to write the locator how to write the path to access any particular web element on the web page then 50% thing you already create uh, create in the interview this thing only for the beginners if you talk about any media, uh, intermediate or like uh, advanced level then uh, very few more things was there but for the beginners this thing is very important so i'm just recommending you uh, i have created few sessions before and it was also uploaded in my channel like what is xpath types of xpath and demo with real time example okay i have also covered uh, one thing like important question for interview so this is the one video which i have already uploaded in my channel i will uh, also share the link for this video and the another one is how to write dynamic xpath 
dynamic expert is very important thing in selenium like uh, sometimes web element path is uh, changing keep changing uh, day by day it's changing or like uh, it's taking some random values so in this situation if we write any static x path so it will be filled when the web element address is changed so we need to know like how to write dynamic x path different ways of writing x path and some advanced level of finding dynamic web elements okay so this is the second video and third one at which i am re recommending here like most most important tips and tricks for finding x path in this video i was showing some uh advanced level things like how you can easily write the x path that will save your time okay so i'm just uh, suggesting you i'm just requesting requesting you please 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 go and watch these sessions first then you are 70 to 80 percent preparation is uh, you, your preparation is uh, 70 to 80 percent is done for this interview okay and then you can check with these questions so you are fully prepared for that interview okay let me start here the first question is difference between absolute and relative x path if you are giving an interview then interviewer definitely asks this question what is absolute path what is relative path and sometimes this question will come like uh, what x path we are writing with single slash what x path we are writing with double slashes okay so i'm writing the answer here is an absolute path starts with root node or with single slash okay so in the HTML document, there is a, some root node uh, like uh, has body, head, HTML. Okay, so these are the basic root. So if you are traversing root by root to that particular node, on which node your web element is present, that's called absolute path. Okay, and relative path starts from a specific node or with double slash. Okay, so relative path is what? Like when you start that particular path from the specific or unique node. So that's called relative path. Okay, and the second thing is what are the attributes used in X path? So what is attribute first thing? Attribute like which having a specific or unique value to represent a web element on the web page. Okay, so whatever web element is presented on the web page, it has some properties, it has some values. So that's called attribute like class, ID, name, title, edge reference. If that web element is uh, having some links, then uh, it has edge reference. So you can use this attribute and you can write the X path. Okay, and basically the syntax of X path is let me write down again so I can explain one by one. So basically, most of the time we are writing relative x path which is a start from the second the double slash okay let me write down the syntax double slash and the tag name tag name and then an opening square bracket and then at the rate this is attribute and the value of attribute you can pass in the single code and double code as well both okay so this is the basically path this is the um, basically a uh, syntax of the writing x path okay and the third one is what do you mean by x path access so what is access basically so you are seeing in the html document we have multiple sections okay so these sections are siblings of each other right like this section is a sibling of this one and this section is a sibling of this one and when i open this when i expand the section tag it has image so this is the child of this section the section tag image is a tag child of this section tag okay and image is a sibling of this space span tag okay and when you open this span tag it has one tag that is a so a is a child of span tag so basically nothing there is a relation between the span span tag there is a relation between tags like what is parent tag what is child tag what is grandchild tag what is siblings tag okay so basically using these tricks we are finding web element on the back page and that's called access okay 
and as you can see x path axis are used to set relation of current node with another node and it is used to identify elements by their relationship like parent child siblings etc so basically we are finding relationship like in the real life in our real real life we have some relations with our uh, relatives like parents child siblings grandparents so in the same way we have this relation in html document as well between the nodes okay so this is axis and list and explain the difference different x path axis one second yeah so next thing is list and explain the different x path axis okay so i so i have also uh explain you what are the list what are the types of this expert access so this is the attribute okay first one is the attribute and which already we discussed like class id text name title h reference in this question like question number two so these are the basically expert access okay ancestors so what is ancestors like grandparents parents etc of the current node like whatever current node we have and what is the grandparents or parents of this current node so we will traverse the particular node using this grandparent and parents ancestors okay like this is the this if we want to write a x path for this a tag okay because in this a tag we have click to no more one text this is the path of this one click to no more type okay so, so if we are writing the x path for this one this tag then what is the parent tag of this a tag span okay so basically this is the ancestors this is the parent this is the parent tag and this one is a child tag so using this relations we are using ancestors okay and what is next child so child we can obtain all the children's of the current node like what current node we have and we and how many children child how many children we have for this current node so this is the child one and what is this kinds that is grandchild children's etc of the current node like as you can see a is a uh, a is a child of span and span is a child of section so section is a grandparent of a a child right if we talking about the relation between a tag and section so that is a grandparent and grandchildren's relation where a is a grandchild and section is a grandparent okay so this way we can understand this new thing and the next one is how to write a x path to dynamic to handle dynamic web elements okay as i already uh, uh, told in the initial uh, time like this is very important thing dynamic x path because some web elements are keep changing in the html document the address of this particular uh, web element is changing so we have to write the x path so how we can write the x path using axis method that i already explained inside this one axis method okay using contains method yeah this contains method is very important which is i i already covered in this x path like in the second session so i'm i'm recommending you please go and watch this uh, session so you will understand very each uh, so i'm recommending you please go and you will understand very small things as well because like this contains method is very help help helpful for writing the dynamic x path okay and using logical operators as, as well because uh, we have what what method we basically we have to choose while writing the x path that we have to understand once we practice more and more to writing the x path the things will come automatically in our mind like yeah we have to use this method we have to use this thing to writing the x path so please 
start practicing on that. And the next one is, do you know how to write XPath using contains method? So that is also a very important question in the interview. Like uh, interviewer will ask, uh, could you please write down uh, XPath for this particular web element using the contains method? And sometimes they directly told, do you know how what is contains uh, method in the XPath? So you can explain, yeah. I know contains method and we can use this contains method to uh, to finding a by, uh, dynamic web element on the web page and in the contains method we are passing a substring of the value. Let me explain you here so you will understand properly. Like we have this text like click to no more and this is a hyperlink basically and when you uh, seeing like this is presented inside that a tag name and with the tag and the text of this particular hyperlink is displaying like click to no more okay and in case like the text will change in future like it will be like click here or click on so if you write if you wrote the x path for this click to no more text then it will be fail in future if this is if this web element is changed okay but if you are using contains method using this click uh, string using this sub string uh, while taking this small string so your x path will be correct Okay, let me tell you how you can write this contains, uh, how to write this X path using contains method. Let me start with the double slash because always we are writing relative X path. Okay, because it's a more correct and more, more understandable as well. So let me write down double slash and the tag name is A. I'm starting square bracket. And I'm using contains, contains, basically this is a, what, basically this is a um, static keyword in the X path. And I'm starting a small and uh, a small bracket and then I'm just passing text. Text is my attribute here and I'm giving the string name. String name is click. Okay. The spelling of if uh, the spelling of this contains is cut incorrect. Let me oh no, it's it's gone. Let me write down again. A is a tag name, and I'm opening this square bracket. I'm writing contains. I'm just writing a small and a small bracket, and then I'm using text is an attribute and then I'm passing text click to click. okay so if I will pass this complete text then it will also work let me copy this click to completely right you are seeing one of one and it's also highlighting in the top level click to no more let me write enter again Okay, and if tomorrow this text will be changed, like it will be like click on or click here, click something. So if I'm writing the X path using this contains method and using this substring click, then it's never incorrect. Okay, so this is the magic of this contains method and you can use this uh, contains method for this particular text, for the class, for the title, for the ID, for the name, whatever attributes are presented in your HTML document. Okay, so I hope you understand contains method again. I was already explained in my uh, dynamic uh, method, but it's really easy to understand. So this way you can give the answers of these questions if you are facing the same questions in the interview and you can track your interview in very smooth way. And I'm again saying first please take 10 different website and write at least 50 new experts with the different different techniques so you will completely understand the tricks to writing the expert and you will be very confident to writing the expert okay so i hope you understand this session see you and very all the best for your next interview